I forget how to play this game. Okay, I'm assuming I gotta like... Oh fuck. I just picked the wrong direction. Like an asshole. Based on my trigonometry, it should be right about here. I think I make puzzles actually hard, bro. Oh, fuck, that actually scared me. What the fuck, bro? Oh. Yay. Tedious puzzles. Well, it is good to get spooked by a spooky game. Is that five? Oh, shit. Why am I like Yoshikage Kira? The length of your arm. Dude, I haven't watched Diamond is Unbreakable in so long. Oh, fuck. That was pretty close. Was Kira good at trigonometry? I don't remember. So what the fuck? I actually have to bring it all the way down. Cringe. Do, 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 do. Which way do I pull it again? Fuck, is that even not enough? God damn it. What's up, sweet? How's it going, bro? Tedious puzzles. Woohoo. Gotta love them. Alright, I'm gonna wrap this game up. I honestly, my plan is just to wrap the game up and then just like end, unless I don't really know what else I'd do. I mean, if I'm only streaming for like 20 minutes, then I mean, we might find something to do. Aim for the bushes. Aim for the bushes. Ooh. Okay, well, I'm going to fucking drown. Oh, no, I can breathe in w underwater now. Of course. How could I forget? Demon Souls, I have no idea if we'll wrap it up next week. We did a lot of like, uh, what did we do in Demon Souls? We cleaned up a lot, actually. Like, I just got to finish up Boletaria, the area after Leechmonger, and, uh, yeah, there, we did like three of the worlds now. So we'll be wrapping that up, uh, next Friday. I don't know if we're going to actually beat it, but we're going to be playing it next Friday. Ooh. Upside down water? Whoa. Okay. Just a big fucking hole in the ground. Whoa, okay. What is this thing? Eh. Bulkhead doors, okay. 
Oh, I'm back in the tank. We're saving the best for last. Yeah, we were like kind of struggling last stream, but like we actually made it pretty far. I've been really liking Demon's Soul. Like it's hard. Like I hate how fucking un obtuse the upgrade and stuff is. Cause I want to try more weapons, but the area has been fucking phenomenal. Also, I don't know why I'm such a sucker for this imagery, but I always love like an upside down world with the ocean in the sky. I don't know why that's like the sickest like imagery ever. Wait, are you fucking serious right now? Wait, there's like a puzzle that I didn't do correctly. Oh my God. What's up there, C? Wait, so fucking, ugh. I gotta go. What? Did I not grab something? Wolf of Wall Street. Have you never seen it before? Oh my God. I gotta go all the way fucking back. Are you serious right now, bro? Ain't no way. Can do anything over here? Nah. Isn't it so weird how good that movie is? And it's just like idolizing a scumbag. And then also the guy who like, like basically commissioned the movie was also a piece of shit. Who was like, was he from Thailand or Malaysia or something? He like fucking, he was this rich, like Filipino, like Prince or some shit who like stole a fuck ton of money from like taxes. Okay, well, I guess I should have progressed to the right first. Ow. What the fuck, bro? I just snap it oh i snap the thing so now i do it again oh get the fuck out of here get the fuck out of here still don't know what it's for what the fuck? Yeah. Okay, so I have to angle it on the slope. Come to Poppy. Yeah. How far do we make it into Demon Souls? I beat uh, Dragon God. Uh, I beat Flame Lurker, obviously the Dragon God. Uh, we beat. We just beat Penetrator uh, in Boletaria, and. So there's only the area after the Leechmonger. There's like the Shadow World, and then that's it, I think. <laughs> Stealing is okay if it's from the government. I don't think that's how stocks work. <laughs> it isn't idolizing, that's true. But like, I guess it's like one of those things where like a lot of people miss the point it's like the people that uh idolize travis uh what's his name where they think like the the character in taxi driver is sick you know like you know how stupid you have to fucking be you know okay wait wait so the idea is i ramp myself up into the water right is that the idea or is there anything over here oh no i think the idea is i launch myself and i push that fucking button that i can barely see there I got the bone crusher. It's been uh, interesting. It's just like, ah, uh, do I want to like level it up? 
Is it Travis Bigby? What the fuck is the main character in Taxi Driver called? It's like there's always going to be someone like missing the point of those movies. So it's like a lot of people glorify like uh, Jason Belfort or whatever the fuck his name is. Excuse me, what? Wait, what? Oh my god, what the fuck is going on, bro? Can I stack two of these things? The people who idolize Patrick Bateman. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I think this is going to kill me, by the way, if I do this. Like if I go up that high. Oh. Should I just try it for science? So that means I have to pull this one, then pull this one's lever. Jump on. Whoa. Dude, this is so fucking sick. Oh, it's a secret. I think. Can I get in there? Whoa. Okay, wait, that just fell out of the ceiling. I think if I fall out of the ceiling, I die. Dude, I love the imagery of this. I don't even know what it represents, but I just love, like, upside down oceans in the sky. Assuming there's a way out over here. Oh, no, there's something over here. My friend was just telling me that they have a game that they made before this called Limbo. Oh my god, that sounds awesome. Maybe, so I'm guessing over there was a secret that I missed, but fuck it. Fuck secrets. What is this song? I've heard of it, but I had never heard of this shit, honestly. Oh, uh, it's a song called Jordan Belfort. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, you know what's the fucking shittiest rap trend? Is just naming your song like fucking... What the hell is that chick's name? You know, like rappers would just name a song after a more popular rapper just to like get traction on Spotify and shit. Oh, my hair is turning into ape shit. Jordan Milford. Oh, the AC6 soundtrack is coming to Spotify, isn't it? I already listened to it all. It's very good. Let's players playing it a long time ago, huh? Ooh, cage full of slaves. Whoa. Did I like clip through the wall there? I remember strange half human, half dog. What the fuck? Did my game crash? Hello? What the fuck? That was so weird. A half human, half dog VTuber. That just sounds like a dog ear girl, like anime girl. <laughs> the douche is fucking. <sighs> oh, 
Well, I want to see him do it again. <laughs> do not panic. Stop resisting. Dude, fuck dog-eared anime girls. It's all about the bear-eared girls, man. I saw a Walmart employee wearing cat ears today, bro. What the fuck? Let's get you to bed, bro. Are you going to honestly tell me cat ear girls are better than Kuma girls? Hell no. Nah. Dude, use the ladder, you sick fuck. Why would he do that? What a sicko. Oh, I just had my Spotify in the corner the whole time. Why is the game minimizing, bro? Dude, it crashed this time. Okay, well, amazing. <laughs> Insane. I'm a big fan of those human girls, personally. So vanilla, bro. Ugh, so vanilla. I'm just kidding. Let's see here. My game just won't run, bro. Holy fuck, man. What the fuck? Okay, there is volume. Oh, there's like a film camera. Oh, am I underwater still? What the fuck? Why can't I swim then? Oh no, the water's above me. Duh. This is less stable than Dark Souls 3, bro. Huh? Okay, hold on. Let me uh, restart my Steam because, like, I don't know what the fuck else would be causing it, honestly. Dude, I'm getting text messages like crazy. Less stable than ER. Like, damn. And I got this Jordan Bale fur stuck in my head. Come on. Oh, it doesn't show my fucking username anymore when you log back into Steam? Or does it? It does not. Okay, cool. Cool. Oh. Why is it crashing? <laughs> How is it possible to make a game that crashes more than From games? Yeah, like, what the fuck, bro? The audio sounds really buggy, but I think that's what they were going for. Is for like this really washed out sound. Wait, do I have to haul this thing across? Why? Can you push it? Oh, you can. Come on, please don't fucking crash. It's so cringe, bro. See, like, usually I don't like these kind of games because I just hate these, like, puzzles. Where it's just, like, I don't really get stimulated from this, you know? But with an aesthetic this good... Wait a fucking minute. How do I... Okay, wait. I need to, like, swim across. And I need the water to be at that height. So that means I need the... Damn. Okay, I think I see what I gotta do here. We gotta drop it up that. I jump off the box into the water. Wait, no, that doesn't work either. Maybe I can use this to jam the door? Nah. Hmm. Wait, maybe I'm fucking dumb. I need the water high enough. 
Well, the vibes. Yeah, exactly. I like just, you know, just the good atmosphere. That's what it's all about. Woohoo. Okay, so let's like drop this up here. And let's get this to like max height before we can like. So I just do this, right? Just jump off the doodad and swim across. Yeehaw. It's kind of cringe. That's what I mean. It's like, that's kind of the gameplay, but I'm like, I don't really like it, you know? Oh, just that room has like no audio. Yeehaw. I went down, down, down. The ring of fire. The ring of fire. Love is a burning flame. And it makes a fiery ring. I fell for you like a child. Oh, but the fire was wild. Wait, I have to go down. Shit. I fell into a burning ring of fire. Okay, this fucking dickheads leave yet? Mm. Okay, well, those dudes went left. I go right. Easy. <laughs> I was wondering if I could detach a naval mine and just drop it on their heads, but I feel like that would alert the guards. Oh my god. I have to jump. Wait, I have to mid-air mambo hit the button, but wouldn't I die from that height? What the fuck? How do I even get to the water line? Dude, this kid is getting exhausted. I don't, I don't appreciate it. Jogging simulator. The Ooh. Oh God, watch your head. You. Are we missing some brothers? Stand, brother. Oh, there's like a worm over there. Ew, it's just penises. Maybe those are limbs. I don't know. Well, whatever. This'll do. Wait, got. Oh, okay. That means I gotta first bring the water back down. What is up with them? Their proportions are all fucking mangled. <laughs> the guy's just flopping around. I cannot make the distance. You have to toss me, brothers. All right. <laughs> I think some of their body parts are attached on a little bit wrong. Maybe a little bit cockeyed. All right, brothers, toss me. Epic. Oh, do they catch me too from a great height? That's pretty cool. All right, let's give it a shot. Epic. Oh. Oh, these are also slaves. Epic. And gently undressed in a world completely possessed by the human mind. Oh! <laughs> Epic. Yeah. Goodbye, 
my slaves. One of us must stay, brother. All of us must stay except me, brother. Oh, wait, they catch me now. Ooh. There's people running into the light, right? I see and shit. Oh, there is dudes out there. Look at that. There's a hauling ass. What does the clock say? About 3.20? Toss me, brothers. There is a blood trail. Fuck. Well, that ain't good. Oh, shit. Can you all get down from there? There we go. All aboard the elevator to hell. What's that one like claymation movie that's supposed to be a kid's movie? It's about Mark Twain, but it's actually like horrifying. It has a sequence where the kids meet Lucifer. You guys know what I'm talking about? I think I've showed it on stream once before. Whoa. Come brothers. The perspective in this game is really good. The way they handle it and like making it so that's also not confusing with the way like the foreground and background is like what you can interact with. I wonder what was the thing causing the explosions. That sounds insane. You don't believe me? I feel like we're about to uncover some crazy secret of the universe, so I'm going to show it to you. Who are you? An angel. <laughs> What's your name? Satan. This is the type of kids media that we need. Life itself. A dream. Nothing exists save empty space and you. And you are but a thought. <laughs> Why would Mark Twain take these kids to meet fucking Satan, bro? What a sick fuck. What's up, Hella? Like, why the fuck would he do that? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. We were watching uh Thirsty didn't believe me about this horrific uh children's movie where like he, Mark Twain takes children to meet Satan. <laughs> Good shit. Oh, the phone. Who wouldn't even hang up the phone? Well, come on. Some dude just jogging back there. What's up, Shab? The hell? Look at that long-legged bitch. The hell is this place? Whoa! Jesus fucking. Fucking idiot. The walrus from Pingu? Oh yeah. The colossal titan of Pingu, you could say. can't see jack shit. You guys are idiots. You're spogging up the glass. <laughs> I 
Yeehaw. Oh, now he's climbing shit fast. What the fuck do I do with this? Oh, it's my control thing. No? It's just a light bulb. Fuck. Parkour! Oh, shit. Huh? Oh, I have to swing. George, George, George of the jungle. Watch out for that tree. Who played George of the jungle? I don't remember. Uh, oh. Ooh, we're getting close, fam. I can sense it. How'd they get in there? Oh, is it scientists? It's not the people going crazy. Nobody heard nothing. Brandon Frazier? Ooh. I think you're right, because I was picturing Charlie Sheen. Brandon Fraser sounds uh, more correct, though. This crane operator. Why can't I fucking can I climb on top of this thing? And what happens if I climb up? The legend of Brendan Fraser. <laughs> no one ever saw the mummy. You know, I still haven't seen the whale. I don't know. I get mixed opinions on whether people like it or not, but the guy, uh, what's that YouTuber? Daryl Talks Games just made a video about how people's perceptions and enjoyment of things are affected by reviews. Or rather, their enjoy the specification is that their enjoyment isn't doesn't change, but their how they remember the game is changed. How they perceive they remembered enjoying the game is changed, which is like, I think everyone knows that. <laughs> That people get biased. But. Ooh. Dude, that was fucking loud as shit. Bop. But it's like, oh, the whale's just, you know, supposed to be a screenplay and blah, blah, blah. Doesn't work as a film. It's like, eh, she's just fucking watching. Who cares? What the hell? Yeah. Movie snobs, yeah. Yeah, I saw all the Mummy movies in theaters, I'm pretty sure, except the, um, the Rock, Dwayne the Rock Johnson versions. Okay. What do you call those devices? The circle things that close. A sphincter. Oh god, hurry. How fast can it go? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Not my clothes. What the fuck are these guys looking at anyway? Ew, it's a flesh mound. Why did I want to get in here anyway? Oh, free the flesh mound? Wait, brothers. Soon. Is this the pre is this a prologue to the game carrion? <laughs> that was when I played last Halloween. Ah! 
Oh yeah. Now I am a flesh construct. Urgh. I have the power. Come here, you little fuckers. It is like the game carry on. <laughs> <laughs> My great escape. <laughs> Urgh, you son of a bitch! Your puny security gates are nothing but spaghetti. He has the power of ten humans. <laughs> ten whole people. Come, brothers, assimilate. Yes. Can I assimilate? What? They like lift me? Is that, is that real? They try to lift me. <laughs> oh well. <sighs> Dude, it like that's so sick. It like crumbles the concrete. Lift me, brothers. Yes. Oh shit. <laughs> you did this to me. You did this to me. <laughs> what am I doing with this thing? They're just like watching me. Climb. Jump. Ah, you fucking useless. Gah. Fuck. <laughs> Why does it never get tired or tiring to play as a giant ball of amorphous flesh? <laughs> The more I absorb, the stronger I become. <laughs> Look, it's the CEO of racism. Get him. <laughs> oh, how do I get up there? <laughs> eh. Where the hell am I? Dude, that was fucking awesome. What, I'm gonna pole vault or something? Wait, can I just like manipulate this? I can. Oh, fuck. Me stupid. Lift, brothers. Fuck. I'm like Jesus holding the cross right now. Can I climb this? Would that be fucked? Climb it. Climb it. Oh, f oh my God. This is the hardest fucking task in the game yet. Hell yeah. I love dogs. <laughs> I am literally fucking one reborn. What 
do I do here? Do I kill the dogs and then like... Oh, I need the pole vault thing. Shut up, you damn dogs. Grab the fucking thing. Who just keeps dogs over here anyway? Up we go. Woohoo! Oh, I lost the torso. <laughs> Damn it. Brute force doesn't work. Who would have thought? <laughs> all right. All right. Oh, look, I'm climbing the ladder. Oh, look, I'm climbing the ladder. Oopsie. Come on. I swear I'm not looking. <laughs> I tricked you. Jackass. What the fuck? Ah, you bitch. Damn, you're lucky I can't move in four directions or your ass would be grass. <laughs> God. Yeah, I have, I have the power of 60 brains now too. What the fuck? Wait, it's an incinerator. Right? What's this thing? Yeah. I'm losing parts of me. Ow. You can't open this fucking thing? Bro. There's a button over there, right? Or am I stupid? Kobe! Am I stupid? Is there not like a button or something right here? Alright, well fuck it. I don't know what the hell this thing does. Wait, is this the thing that like... Oh. Why would they put a switch on the ceiling? Eh. Yeet. Wow, they ran it with a continuous circuit to a light bulb. Oh yeah, it's big brain time. Ooh. I'm assuming I do not want to crawl into the furnace, right? Wait, I probably have to like light something on fire. Maybe I'm overthinking this. Maybe I'm overthinking this shit. Yeet. Oh, these are going to be sprinklers that turn on when I catch something on fire and I got to like yeet it over like this. So I am a fucking genius. Yeet. Ooh, hot potato, hot potato, hot potato, hot potato, hot potato, hot potato. Catch it. Oh, hot potato. Ay, 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 ay. Ah, hot. Hot, 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 hot. That is fucking hot. That is fucking hot. All right, whoever's up there, die. Oh, I thought it was going to cause an explosion. I told you, ever since I have the power of 20 human brains, I'm just a fucking unstoppable genius. Whoa! Ooh. 
They, for the remainder of the stream, I'm just going to communicate in horrified cries of anguish and agony as you, the barrier between yourself and others is destroyed and you lose all sense of individuality. And your visions are filled with the memories and experiences of everyone else. And you think to yourself, no one has ever felt so near. Everyone is so near. This looks like a giant fucking ball sack, bro. Are they trying to help me? Come on, baby. Whoa. Thanks for the hand. Maybe they're trying to like make me get out of here. I don't know. Do 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 Everyone Everyone is so near Fuck you. Ugh. Damn. Oh, are you fucking serious, bro? It closes? God damn it. Eh. Okay, I was like, fuck you, game. Oh. <laughs> Gimme. No! This is a nice home. Hmm. I'm gonna be like fucking Charles Bronson, just rip all the roof apart in protest. Ugh. You think you can stop the 20 person man? Fools. I have the strength of 20 men. I am unstoppable. Ooh, light. Mmm. I thought that was going to be the end of the game. How do you swim like this? Like, how do you coordinate the movement? Damn. The great escape continues. <laughs> you can hear some bitch crying in the flesh mound. Ooh. Oh god, that looked like it hurts so much. Oh, what's the idea here? <laughs> Break it down, boys. Oh! Yeah. Time to start a new life as a Cronin ball. Is 
Is the camera panning out? I mean, zooming out? Is this the good ending? They could have ended it when they trapped you in the tank. Freedom! That's the message of the movie. Freedom. At all costs. The name of the producer is Mads. Oh god, these are fucking Nordic names. No wonder this fucking game so bizarre. Special thanks to Mikael Svensson, Jacob Schmid, Mikael Gard Nielsen, Soren Troutner Madsen. Lo Fuck, that was a long name. We did it. We got the good ending, dude. We got the good ending. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Oh, you guys couldn't even see the fucking flesh mount. I was blocking it. The way they framed the shot. Damn. This is so deep, you guys. Smash like and subscribe for more dank, insightful horror media. Why did I become a flesh mount? I don't know. Maybe it's saying like some broad themes of like assimilation and like... Subjugation? I don't know. I don't know. What are you escaping from? I don't know. Maybe it's like a 1984 world order kind of situation, right? You're escaping society. You are on the run. Maybe something about like being an outsider. Who knows? What was this game? I have no fucking idea, but I know that it was pretty good. That's a good game. I don't like puzzle games because I don't like doing puzzles. But my goodness, that was a good game. It's society, exactly. Oh, I tried to control my guy, and it was, uh... That was it. Damn, that's a pretty good game. It's a pretty good game. I'm glad I played it. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I'd have to sit with a game like that. It's really, like, spooky in its own way. It's like horror. I mean, it's atmospheric horror, right? But there are like generally scary moments, right? With these fucking pigs coming back from life to life. The art design is fucking fantastic. The animations are really good too. Yeah, the physics too. Just a good game. Yeah. Like it's like a horror. It's it's the kind of horror that I like, where it's like, it's not like spooky, like ah, like scary. Like it's got to have those highlight moments to that, but sparse. And the horror comes from like the impending sense of doom, like the dread that is instilled upon you, playing the game, just being in these vast empty rooms, and like there's just like bass noise, like off in the distance that gets closer slowly, or like random shit like that like everything about the atmosphere instills the dread right the the tension and the mystery that's what i like that tense feeling of uh dread instead of just like ah, spooky jump scare i don't know what the fuck it's about though <laughs> i feel like it's general enough that you could probably read into it quite a few ways Died as a massive flesh mound. Hell, did he die at the end? I think I lived. I think I won. I beat the game. I won. That means I lived. And then I became a scientist flesh mound that found a way to reverse my disorder and become normal again. And then I fucked a ton of bitches. That's my head cannon. I can't. I just then I designed a giant robot to destroy the evil society that round up people in cages and brainwash them and turn them into slave homunculus homunculi. Yeah, that's how movies should end or a game. That's how anything should end. It should always be a good ending with action. Yeah, that was a good one. Glad I played it. I might check out their other game. What do they do? Limbo. I'm going to force everyone to live underground. First thing is in my world order is everyone gets put up against the wall. Let's see. 
They have a, another game called In Limbo. Let's check it out. 